Hi, I'm Josh from Apt. Here we have an Apple laptop. Maybe you have one at home and you want to plug in a secondary display. Maybe you already have a secondary display and you want a tertiary display. Whatever the case is, you're going to have really easy plug and play scenarios with your Mac, but there's a lot of options and system preferences that we're going to review on how to manage what monitor gets what feature and the locations and stuff like that. So check it out. All right, so here we have an example. I've got a 15-inch MacBook Pro that has an HDMI output. So I've just plugged the HDMI cable into this Samsung monitor, and this is what happened. It just lit right up, and here it is. It's in mirroring mode. What does that mean? As I move the cursor around, it's on this screen, it's on that screen, it's simultaneously moving. What I see here on my laptop is the same as what I see on my, 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 my monitor. Okay, so some people don't want that, and really what we're going to do to control that is in system preferences and by the way your setup may automatically be in the extended desktop mode that I'm about to show you it may not automatically be inside this mirror mode where the same image is on your screens so in system preferences and this really varies uh, I mean it's very consistent among many operating systems is when you go to displays I have a display here well right now it's in mirror mode so the first thing we're gonna do is jump to the arrangement tab and I'm going to uncheck mirror displays. All right, so now I've got two different things happening here. I've got two boxes, and then over here I have information regarding my Samsung. Okay, I could, I could tweak the settings of this monitor exclusive to this monitor and not affect my computer. You may also have noticed that um, I used to have black bars on the top and bottom. If I go back into mirror display mode, I just got black bars on my my Mac. My Mac screen is now somewhat limited to the capabilities of what's plugged in. So you'll see that with mirror mode. It's not your computer, don't worry, just get out of mirror mode and now you'll get your full full resolution screen and then you should still be able to achieve high resolutions here if you're using HDMI or Thunderbolt or mini display port. So with mirror mode unchecked, I've got two boxes and here's the point. My laptop physically is to the right of my monitor. So in this picture, the small box with the white bar is my laptop, and the white bar is indicating that I have the dock on this display. The big screen is my, my, uh, my monitor. Now, in the image, it's backwards because the monitor is on the left. I need to click and drag it to the other side, and now the big box is to the left. So that means that my monitor is on the left and my laptop's on the right. Why is that important? It's important so that when I drag things, from one screen to the next. It, it flows off the, the left of my screen onto the right of this screen. If the boxes are in the wrong shapes or directions, it's going to be kind of funky looking here where you're dragging things around and it's, and it's, not, it's kind of awkward. So here's where you change that. Just move your box over and you'll notice that you can kind of go up and down. Like as I drag this box over, I really, it should be flowing right here. But you'll notice it's a little high up. So all I have to do is show more realistically how my monitor is uh, connected. So in this example, it's more like that. So now when I slide it over, it's more, uh, I don't know, it's, the flow is pretty perfect here. And this could uh, be the same scenario for multiple screens, not just two, if you have three displays, for example. So outside of that, what if I want my dock and main stuff on the big screen? Let's grab that little tiny white bar on my laptop screen. I'm going to click the white bar and drop it onto the big box. Now I've got the, the secondary display is now acting as my primary represented by the white bar across the top of the big box. And my, my dock's right here. One little thing that might confuse you. Let's pretend my laptop's in front of my, my display. My display's a little higher up. In that scenario, I'm going to move the box to show you. In that scenario, if my laptop was here and my monitor was right above it, the dock will be on the bottom display, even if the white bar is on the big screen, just so you know. It just seems like it makes sense because you're going up and down. So let's put it back to the way it was. This is more realistic to how I'm displaying it. And that's really one of the best ways for you to control multiple, multiple monitors is really making use of the arrangement tab, moving your boxes around, and understanding that mirror mode is not going to let you do any of that. It's just going to be the same thing on both displays.